So I guess the winning formula for any of these guys in the MCU is just to get a hoodie, a baseball cap, and maybe some glasses. And that's it. You are basically incognito. Nobody's going to recognize you, even if you are one of the most famous human beings on the planet. Which is very ridiculous when you think about how truly famous these people are in that universe, in the MCU. Now imagine the most famous people on this earth and they want to go outside and they decide, hey, in order to blend in, let me just wear these. Don't tell me that you are not going to be able to recognize them. At least if you know who they are, you've seen them before. The only people who wouldn't will be those who don't have access to phones, TV, the internet and all that. Now this video is showcasing where it all began to its present moment and it all began in Iron Man 3. Now just imagine, look at it from this perspective. And this is the MCU. These are heroes who have saved the world. These are people who, who are the Avengers. Their faces plastered on every TV, every newspaper, every outlet, everything. And you are telling me Tony Stark in the third Iron Man movie can just walk into a store buy all these things the person working there will look at his face and still not go recognize him like look at when he starts face there, there's nothing much that has changed he's just wearing glasses and a hoodie with a cap it's not something that he's never worn before he's worn glasses before and <laughs> and the guy doesn't recognize him no one in the store Let, let's just say the store has no one inside but the person working there like realistically in the mcu in terms of who tony stark is who iron man is there has to be at least one or two things that is of his that they are selling in the store or his face is plastered there somewhere on a figurine or something yeah i know sometimes it happens you may not recognize everybody that you even know and follow maybe because you are not paying attention or distracted but come on sometimes they are just right there face to face and they still can't recognize them another funny moment was in captain america the winter soldier and steve rogers you know he visits the machine he's looking at all these things about him and there's a boy who recognizes him he sees the boy do so and he just does shh. and it was a cool moment but you're telling me that steve rogers captain america one of the avengers just walks into a museum and no one recognizes him he's not wearing any significant you know disguise he's just wearing a cap and that's it no glasses no hoodie and <laughs> i guess he's woo, totally silent oh he's he, he's a ninja wow must of these guys but in this case in, just in a group of people and of course for the story and the plot only the kid recognizes him <laughs> ah, oh my god and the thing is his face is plastered all over the museum yes some of them are in black and white but others are in colored and it's not all of them that he's wearing a mask like how come no one is able to recognize this guy and there's another scene in the same movie where he's wearing glasses with that same cap with black widow who also has that signature look minus the cap and the glasses like damn you guys are masters of stealth and to even hammer it in about yeah, these guys they made it so that the guy stared dead in his eyes looked at his face for a couple of seconds i still could not recognize him and if they were so incognito and that no one will be able to recognize them why is that this scene they had to do this me. What? Public displays of affection make people very uncomfortable. Yes, they do. Well, of course, you can also bring out the argument that because they are after them, do obviously, you know, recognize them with their <laughs> master of stealth outfits. Later down the movie, at the ending, Nick Fury also, you know, has his signature MCU incognito outfit. Yeah, he's blending in quick, quite well. Like, Nick, you would think that that, you know, technology which Black Widow used in the movie, you have that. I'm sorry. because you were what the freaking director of shield and that resource should be something that is you know common for you to get but no nothing beats the classic outfit So now let's move on to Captain America Civil War, where Bucky's on the run. You will think that people know his face, especially after that whole craziness that was the last movie. And of course, what happened in the opening of this movie, where everybody's now after him, you will think that he'll, he'll go hard on the disguise, but no. <laughs> Why bother when you can get the classic outfit, the, the classic cap, and then you are as stealthy as Batman in the dark. In the same movie, you have Black Widow, Wanda, Steve, and Sam 
also having the classic outfit, also blending into society and no one can recognize them. Let, let's just forgive Wanda because not many people actually know her. And But Black Widow, even with that, let's just, okay, let's also give that benefit of the doubt. But come on, Steve freaking Rogers, Captain America, like, really? <laughs> I see John Cena wearing a cap and glasses. I don't think I will be like, ooh, 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 who the hell is that? Especially if he's as famous as he is as Captain America. Of course, Sam, no, not many people know him as well. So he, an excuse can be given for him. And the thing is that it reached at this point where it, it just became a parody. Because in Ant-Man and the Wasp, they just said what we've all been thinking about all these disguises in the MCU up until now. It's not a good idea to be out in the open like this. Relax, no one's gonna recognize us. What, because of hats and sunglasses? It's not a disguise, Hank. We look like ourselves at a baseball game. In Captain Marvel in 2019, they also did the same thing. This one, I can excuse it because Carol, no many people know who she is, even if they do. Like, she's been missing for years and nobody's looking to identify her like this, except for the movie The Cree. Put that on. What is it? It's the S.H.I.E.L.D. logo. Does uh, announcing your identity on clothing help with the covert part of your job? And the same thing if you also happened in Avengers Endgame when Steve and Tony went back to the 1970s. And of course, the winning formula, <laughs> the stuff, <laughs> outfit, what? <laughs> Just look at him. Do you think that if she, he came face to face to Peggy Carter like he almost did in the movie, will she not be able to recognize him? In the TV show Miss Marvel, they also had to make fun of you know this whole disguise when Cameron and Bruno were running away from the authorities. They just gave them two caps like... <laughs> you need the disguise. Oh, and I even forgot about Thor Ragnarok, when they also played on the idea of a disguise. I need a disguise. You are a disguise. I'll be Tony Stark. Huh? Yeah. Tony and the Gypsy. What's with the... It's my disguise. But I can see your face. Not when I do this, you can't. And even did the same in Thor Love and Thunder when they reached the omnipotent city. There's also this the Thor in a hoodie, which I can't find the clip anywhere. I don't even remember this scene. Now, looking at all of this, if you need a disguise in the MCU, if you are on the run, the safe bet is the Avengers slash MCU disguise set. You get your hoodie, you get your hat, you get your glasses, any kind, and you just, you rock it and you are completely incognito. No one will recognize you except for when the plot demands it. Heck, you can even wear one of those things and you can still be unrecognizable. And yeah, I know that some people may also argue in the comments, oh, maybe because if you don't expect this person out on the streets or wherever they are, you are never going to recognize them or even believe it is who you think they are. And that logic only works like I think 1% of the time, maybe even less than that. The fact is that they are at populated places, places where people will easily recognize them because they are freaking heroes who just saved the freaking world. Their faces, images, every, plastered everywhere on the news outlet. They are probably shown on TV almost all the time. They are on the internet and yet they were just walking into populated areas wearing these things and I guess no one will recognize them. At this point, it's like a parody. Um, it's like a checkbox. It's part of the Marvel humor brand. Like how we have the Marvel clips and all that. Like it's part of it. It may not have started this way, but right now, that's how it is. Anyways, do let me know in the comments below what you thought of this and uh, my rant throughout the video. I mean, it's not actually a rant. I'm just having fun with it. And uh, your thoughts on these disguises in the MCU. Now, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It helps the channel out. Subscribe and turn on that post notification bell not to miss any new video as well. As always, Nettie CGA. See you guys in the next one. It's not a disguise, Hank. We look like ourselves at a baseball game.